Hi and welcome to LG Health and Beauty's video on eyebrow tweezing. This is to help you manage your eyebrows at home while you are social distancing and not able to see your esthetician. Um, what you will need is a pair of tweezers that grab well to the hair. I like to use pointed, you can use angled, whatever works for you. You will need tweezers. You will need a good light source so that you can see all of the little hairs. You will need a mirror that magnifies so you can see all the little hairs. You will need a brow brush. And if you need um, to trim your hair, you might need a set of scissors. The other thing that are optional is numbing. This you can get at Sally's. You probably can also get it online. It is not um, something that you need a license to get. You would put it on a small cotton pad, leave it for 30 seconds after you've wiped it, and then the skin will start to numb up to about 15 minutes. I also use that for my waxing clients for their lip. They, they love it. Um, and then I mix my own essential oil and plant oil blend. This is black seed oil, eucalyptus, and rose. You can also use a lavender oil. Basically, it's going to help calm the skin and the essential oils help to minimize breakouts. So what you need when you're shaping your brow is to follow the um, pattern of what you've already got on your eyebrows from your professional. So don't start over tweezing. This is not the time to start trying out new shapes for your brow. Um, notice some hair grows up and some hair grows down. It just depends on ethnicity. You cannot make it go one way or the other very easily with brow gel or hairspray, but you can tame it slightly, so do keep that in mind. When you are arching your brows, the start of your brow is always good rule of thumb, inside of the nose, corner of the eye, straight up. I leave mine slightly in. It's just a personal option, but try not to go too far this direction because it starts to look really weird when your eyebrows are spaced out real far. You want it to be proportional to your face, and this is a good rule of thumb. So starting at the inside of the eye, right here, inside of the nose, inside of the eye, your arch starts right about the middle of your eye, that dark part of your eye, and then slowly thins to a point out to the side, and from the corner of your eye to the edge of your eyebrow, it should be about a 45 degree angle. On top of your brow, if your brows get too, if your eyebrow hair gets real long, you can always take um, some scissors and slightly trim it to follow the curve so that when you brush your um, eyebrows, they lay nice and flat. When you're tweezing, you want to make sure that you keep the skin tight. So you're going to raise your eyebrows. If you need to add extra pull so that you don't get it, you can, you know, pull on the skin and then tweeze quickly so that you are not um, inflicting that extra uh, pain that comes when your um, face is not stretched during tweezing. Um, so if you have any questions about your eyebrow shape, I am here to consult. We can do um, a video or you can, uh, we'll do a video chat or you can email me a picture of your eyebrows and we'll take a look at the shape of your face. But for the most part, follow the shape that you have been given by your professional and just maintain the area in between and the area on the side. Um, once you're done tweezing, you will take a drop of your oil, apply it lightly over the area that you tweezed. And then because this is straight out of the shower and when the skin is warm, it tweezes better. I don't have any product on my skin. I will go now and put on my um, serum and my moisturizer and my eye cream and be done. I hope this video finds you well. I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.